The circus is the only life I've ever known And I believe that the show would always go on I'm not sure there is a transition from being a race car driver to a musician because I was only halfway a, a race car driver and I'm only halfway a musician right now. So I'm still making that transition when I look at it. When I've looked to other artists or looked to other people, it's like, uh, I, it's kind of like driving a race car. You looked at the guys I grew up with and the drivers that were my dad's generation, I looked up to that generation. And you try to take a little bit from each one of those guys, but you don't copy any of them just try to take a little bit. So for me, I guess that's the way I, I looked at music the same way as I would look at guys. You try to take a little bit and there'd be something different. I chased my dreams in the center ring, but I was always in the shadow of the ringmaster, the king. Ah, but this circus ain't the same as it used to be. You jump in a car with my dad and we go to the racetrack um, and we had the classic eight track, which was jamming, man. That was country. Uh, that was Johnny Cash, uh, Waylon Jennings, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline. A guy that lived not far from us in Lovell Cross, North Carolina, lived over in Pleasant Garden. Uh, his name was Billy Crash Craddock. Crash Craddock, man, he was always around, always around. He was a star, man. That was like, that was a big deal. There was that connection between especially country fans and NASCAR fans because you had that, that rural community. You had that farmer. You had that mill worker. Uh, and these guys that drove race cars, they were the same way. You know, my grandparents on my mother's side grew up working in mills in, in Randleman, North Carolina. I tell people we grew up in rural North Carolina where there were dairy farms and tobacco farms. We just happened to grow race cars. That was our farm. So I do believe there was a huge connection. You saw yourself in the songs that were sung. And he'd say, put my ashes in a bottle, cause that's where I feel most at home. Put them on a shelf all by their self. I don't mind being alone. Play D17 on the jute box, then buy round on me if you don't mind. Let Merle sing me back home one more time. When I started, started really focusing on music and listening to music in the early 70s, I was a James Taylor, Jim Croce, um, Carol King, you know, that, that I was into singer-songwriters at that time. And along came a guy that drove a race car named Marty Robbins, who, who was a country singer, a great singer. I guess I always looked at it and thought if Marty Robbins could do it, I could try it too. So I'm still trying. <laughs> now here's the best part. I tell people this every time I play. What I used to do for a living, when you messed up, they haul you off in an ambulance. Here, <laughs> they don't haul you off in an ambulance when you mess up. So it's so much better. You know what I mean? So much better. Oh my God. As my writing has progressed, it's kind of stayed in the same storytelling area, the same love songs, stuff about people. Um, and, and I write about people, people I meet, people I know, people I see. And in that moment, my world stood still. Yes, in that moment, I always will. Yes, in that moment, my heart knew that it was you. In that moment. There's small towns all over, all over the state that have rooms like this that allow and nurture that kid down the street that sat in his room you know, from the time he was 12 or 13 and learned the guitar. And we've got people here in North Carolina. And I've been working with a gentleman that's standing over here, David Childers, who are great mentors that you meet along the way. Uh, so it's a very open community because they're caring, they're giving, they give back in so many different ways. Even music, pottery, I don't art, wherever you want to go, they want to teach. They want you to learn. They want you to be creative. They want you to be successful. So they help and they nurture it. So 
to me, that's what's always made the state great, but that's what makes the music in North Carolina great too. Got to play tonight at Magnolia Roots, and I'm sure each and every one of you are glad that we're finally through. And I know when you walk up those stairs and out that door, you'll say we'll never do that again. We're not coming back to hear them again. There you go. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.